Graysel who had a highlight real goal if he'd been able to get that through, but it was blocked at the last minute as he got up to the doorstep. Warsawski came across to help out. There's a shot on the right side, score! Garrett Rowe gets his third of the year, power play goal. And the Minutemen have their first lead of the season. You mentioned it at the top, uh, Rowe only three points last year. Assists. Now he's got four points on the season, and that's his third goal. He comes in back door, a right-hand shot on the right side, gets this pass right across the top of the crease and makes no mistake about it, going short side high on Milan. That's a set play. You got that defenseman coming in back door, work the puck down low on the left wing side. Getting in Connolly at the point. It's Connolly the forward. Goes back to the point on the power play here. They get it through to Connolly. His shot comes through. Score! Front got a piece of it coming through. Power play goal ties the game at one. That didn't take much time at all. We talked about the net front presence of Boston University here in this game. They've had people in front of Teglia down low. This face off controlled by BU. They're eventually going to move this puck back out high. Connolly playing the point position over on the left side. Just a little wrist shot towards the front of the net. I'm not sure if Poyo got a piece of it. Pereira was also there. But Tegley really never saw this shot coming in because of the presence in front of the net by Coyle. These pressure pack games. Glass takes it away after the big hit there. Gilroy went in. Score! They worked it out in front to Andrew Glass. And after the big hit, a big goal for the Terriers. And you want to see how a give and go is supposed to be executed. Just watch this from the half wall. Glass is going to have this puck on the right wing side. They're absorbing a hit down low. They're going to gain possession of the puck. That's a big hit in the corner, but Glass gets the puck on the wing, passes it down low, and then goes to the net, gets the return pass, and he's going to go short side high on Tegley. A beautiful finish. There's an opportunity as Pereira's out of the box. They get it to him. Here's Joe Pereira. The captain scores! Out of the box and into the scoring column. A 3-1 lead for Boston University. Well, UMass has perfect possession of this puck in the offensive zone, but a fan shot out high. Connor Allen trying to get this shot away. He fans on the shot. Connolly's going to pick up the loose puck right at the blue line and make this pass to Pereira. And Pereira has to straddle the blue line, the far blue line, to make sure he stays on side. He receives the pass perfectly in behind the defense. Little move to his forehand, and he's able to get those legs to open up and slip it five hole. Banging it after it to keep Nieto off the puck. Michael Pereira got it started. It comes through to the slot. Here's Rowe scores! His second of the game, and UMass back within one. First of all, I don't know how this shot ever gets through. I mean, there's so many bodies around the front of the net. The pass was actually intended right out in front there for Siner, but it goes past Siner and all the way out to the left point. There's Rowe stepping into the middle of the ice, getting that shot away. Maybe even redirected on its way in. I don't know how Milan would have seen anything with all those bodies in front, but Rowe getting his second of the game as this one finds its way through. Banks it over to the corner boards. Coyle diving out. Got a piece of it. Here's Gill. Sorry, here Gill to the back end. Scores! Sahir Gill, the freshman, getting his second career goal. And with a minute 37 seconds, Boston University makes it a two goal lead once again. Getting his second goal of the season and six point. You know, Mets just can't move this puck up the ice. And Gill able to pick the puck up just inside the blue line, fight off a hit coming back from Darren Rowe. Kind of makes this look easy. Nice little fake shot, pull the puck to the backhand. Slip that puck right along the ice. He's opened up a lot of eyes here in the early going, has Gill. Gets through instead to Hanley, bouncing through. Hobbs has it. One time in there, score! So Marku gets the goal with 19 seconds left. And there is still a little life here at the Mullen Center. Marku wanted this puck right away. Didn't quite get it right away, but he stuck with it. He didn't bail out. He stayed right there, and Hobbs able to find him, put it on a tee for him. And Marku with the slap shot. Again, good traffic in front as this puck finds its way through. He wanted this puck right away. There it is. Maybe rolling a little bit by the time that puck got to him and the good slap shot 
Beating Milan to the far side.